Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka Be Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend, Beauty Besties. We back, back, back in the house, and today we are doing the makeup technique of underpainting. Y'all know what that means? Well, you're gonna learn today, so you know what to do. Grab your beverage. Let go. Most importantly, what you sipping on? You know, Cinco de Mayo, for those that aren't familiar in the United States, was on Friday, and child, the people in the, in the country likes a good old margarita and a taco and a nacho and a, uh, and a chip and salsa. I decided I was gonna just channel and honor Cinco de Mayo with my Tulum mug that I bought. It, is this the Tulum mug? Yes, you know, I've been all throughout Mexico. <laughs> but this is the Tulum mug and it's just some sparkling water. So cheers to you, sugar. All right, Beauty Bestie. So before we jump into underpainting in this tutorial today, I just wanna pause for the cause because I know I've been a little absent and I said, I feel like I should tell y'all, your beauty best friend has been running. Your beauty best friend has been traveling nonstop for work. And it's just been really, really, really kind of hard to get quality content out to you all. So I, again, I apologize for the gap in content, but I appreciate y'all rocking with me and watching the videos and engaging it in the comments. Um, it means a lot to me, but most importantly, it's super important for me. These are about to die. It's super important for me to be able to connect with you. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience as I'm still trying to figure out a balance here to ensure that we still see each other. And I still bring y'all some fire makeup tips because aha, I'm gonna be the best friend. That's what I'm supposed to do. And so on that note, for all the new beauty besties, welcome on into the room. While you're here though, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications, honey, so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic. And for all the beauty besties that's not new to this, but you are true, <clears throat> you are true to this, y'all know I love... Okay, I'm gonna take that. Y'all know I love seeing y'all. I got excited, y'all heard that. It was a head voice. That's how excited I am to see y'all today. All right, so let's talk. So this underpainting makeup trend has been going on lately and I just wanted to like do it with you all. I don't do makeup this way, but apparently, you know, the trend became so trendy because Jennifer Lopez makeup artist, Scott Barnes, is known for underpainting J.Lo for her makeup, and that's why she looks fabulous, she looks fierce, she looks amazing. And I've been seeing it on the TikTok, I've been seeing it on Instagram, and so I said, you know what, I wanna try my hand at underpainting with you all, and you know, working through this together, and seeing how great we make this makeup come out, and actually see if it's a technique that I kinda wanna adopt into my own personal routine, and also for, you know, future clients, because, you know, I am a makeup artist, right? But for us today, y'all let me know, if you're watching this video and you've ever tried the underpainting, please drop it in the comments, tell me your thoughts, but I decided I'm going to utilize the new MAC Studio Fix everywhere, all over, okay, hold on, the name is, I, I know I'm, I know I'm jacking up the name. Bam, it's the MAC Studio Fix everywhere, all over face pen, yes, that, mm-hmm. We're gonna use this pen today to underpaint our face and create a makeup look. So let's start first with the contour. So I'm using NW60. I love that these come in such deep complexion shades. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna click out a little on the back of my hand because apparently when I click directly on my face, I use way too much product and child, I be working for days. I be working for days. Mm -hmm. I am working for days and I ain't got time for that today. So we try to do this video quick, smart and deliberate. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know I'm super nervous because I'm doing all of my makeup steps out of order. I don't even have a brow on or anything, Jesus. I am, I ran for my life. All right, so I'm taking this with my 190 brush and I would contour here, right? So I'm just gonna lay this product to contour. Ooh, baby, this is a dark contour. And we're gonna do the same thing over here, okay? Ooh, and I'm gonna do a little because y'all know what? We still got a little, at this point, it's no longer just COVID weight, child. I'm just eating. Um, but we got a little bit of, you know, sculpting to do down here as well. So we'll do a little light, light something through there. I feel like this is giving me, I'm about to look like um, one of Wesley Snipes from Tu Wong Fu, honey. Um, but 
uh, what else do I, I don't normally contour through here though. So for those beauty besties that do a little contour, I'm gonna do a little some some right here, a little light light right there, just to kind of like reshape, do a little light light in the hairline, just to kind of reshape. But I don't do a lot of contouring through my forehead. What I will do though, is we're gonna take a smaller brush and we're gonna contour the nose, right? Because why not be pinched with this? So I'm gonna do this, we're gonna bring it up this way, and we're gonna do the same thing. Y'all, this looks, okay. <laughs> this, I don't know about y'all, but I'm low key sweating over here because I feel like this is just so, you know, dramatic. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna take that up this way, and I'm gonna do, everybody's been doing this like little contour where it cuts right here, and it does one of these like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and look like I got a, a nose job. So we have our contour on with our NW60. Now, I feel like I'm supposed to lay the highlight, but I don't know how how quick this product dries. And again, I'm not trying to be blending for days. So I'm gonna just go ahead and blend out this contour first. I'm gonna use some uh, damp um, beauty blender. Again, outside my box, because y'all know I love a good brush. But we're gonna go ahead and like, Blend this in down here like so. We're gonna do the same thing over here as well. I feel like it might be too damp. I don't even, I feel like the product is disappearing all of a sudden. All right, and then we're gonna do one of these down the ridge of the nose. How it looking, y'all? I feel like I probably may have to end up going, that actually does not look bad. Did the product disappear? <laughs> Did I soak up all the product off my face into the sponge? Okay, you know what? I'm adding more contour and I'm gonna add the highlight at the same time because I feel like it just disappeared. But that's not bad actually. Okay. So note to self, don't make the don't make the sponge too juicy, baby. Oh, I also think I'm gonna take my contour and slightly bring it down. I've been seeing a lot of like the other influencers really kind of like sculpt their face. Oh, I'm about to be chiseled. Call me the Black Fabio. By the way, who's the Black Fabio? Mm, who who would the Black Fabio be for the black people? The black, who would the Black Fabio be for the black people? Who would, black, who would be the consideration of the Black Fabio? If we got Fabio Fabio, who would the Black Fabio be? Y'all let me know in the comments. While I, you know, I think the Black Fabio for me, not necessarily Idris Elba, we love Idris Elba, but would the Black Fabio be, ooh, what's his, what's his, would the Black Fabio be Boris Cujo? You know, light skin Black Fabio? Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm interested to now know who the Black Fabio would be. No, you know what, for women, I don't recommend bringing it all the way down. In fact, I don't normally bring it all the way down like that either. But for me, I feel like I want to channel a little bit more chiseledness for my face today. Now you want to know what really makes me nervous is this highlight because the kids go bright, bright. And so I'm like, but what if I'm super dark underneath it? Do I, you know, I'm always thinking about like color correcting and all these other things, but I'm going bright. I'm doing it in W35. You know, we're committed to this together. So I don't feel alone. You are not alone. I don't feel alone, but the kids we went real light with this. So I'm gonna take my NW35 and we're gonna go in to lay my highlight here and here. This brush is too tiny. Oh my God, this is funny. Perfect. All right, so this is my version of underpainting. <laughs> I feel like I look crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in for real, for real with the, with the sponge and we're gonna just start to blend this together. I'm gonna take that down. I'm underneath here. Right through here. All right, so we have our underpainting on. Now the next tip is to go in with our foundation. So I'm taking my foundation color on the back of my hand. There it is, just like that. Oh wait, I remember the kids also layered in blush as well. Oops, I forgot. Okay, let's do blush. I have a cream blush palette here. I, You know, I'm just gonna take some of the brighter colors and this is, for those who may not know, this is the Pro, Fa 
Pro Face Palette Bright Blush um, by MAC. And I'm gonna take that and we're gonna do a high blush here. A little too pinky pink for me, but I'm gonna add in a little bit more of this orange here and a little bit of that pink and see if that gives me a little bit more of a sunset. Yeah, I like that. So now I'm still going in with my foundation on top, like so. And I'm gonna pause here because I actually think, y'all, did we do it? This actually kind of looks dope. Um, let me grab a little bit more of my foundation. Let me find out. We've been missing out on this old underpainting trend, okay? I'm gonna grab a little bit more foundation and I'm doing the shy. Uh-uh, we not done just yet. I'm just actually, I'm pausing for the cause because as scary and crazy as I look, this actually looks a lot, this actually looks a lot better than I was expecting. This, this skin is skinning. Do y'all see this skin? I haven't even done powder and or brows yet. Child, let me take a sip. I hope y'all are sipping over there because baby, <laughs> we outside. <laughs> underpainted, looking like money, looking like skin, looking natural. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. You might want to turn the volume of this down to about a good old five, okay? I'm taking my sip. Taking a little bit of loose powder, the Velvet Blur Powder by MAC, because you know it blurs the, it blurs the, <laughs> y'all don't see the effect of this powder. Y'all don't see the gorgeousness of this skin, cause the skin is what skinning. Uh, and this is a medium deep I went with. I could even technically go lighter, but I said I wanted to go a little bit lighter than my complexion, just to kind of like bounce these things and make it look what? Magically delicious. Let's just rest in silence real quick. Y'all ready for summertime skin? <laughs> summer, summer, summertime. Baby, we are rocking this into place. Baby, the foundation is already, this little click pan is already 36 hours of wear. And we add this blurring powder on top. We walking around here waterproof, humidity resistant, transfer resistant, and 36 hours worth of blurring. <laughs> And the gag is, if we wanted to add more color to our cheeks, more contour, we could. But this is the reason why the kids be like, J-Lo looks realistic. J-Lo looks gorgeous. This underpaint, all right, let me just quit talking. Let me do my brows, y'all. Y'all get what I'm saying, right? This is cute. I'm actually pleasantly surprised <laughs> with myself today. <laughs> Pat on the back for your beauty best friend. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial because baby, <laughs> the skin is skinning in today. All right, let me do my brows. I'll see y'all on the flip side, okay? Brows are on, but I don't know if y'all watch me on the other platforms. I did a um, reel on Instagram the other day using this got to be brow and edge um, control gel. And y'all know, I got my edges. So I was just using this for brows because it literally locks my brows into place and it allows me to have a little bit more of a lifted brow. So get you one of these, go against the brow hair, brush it up, allow it to dry, and voila, the brows are lifted, eye lift lifted, and you know, there you go. All right, we're gonna do a quick old eye look just to complete this. I'm taking my 224 brush and I'm using the same underpainting contour as my socket color, just to give me a little bit of dimension on my eye. I'm gonna take a little bit of this as well, and it's gonna go underneath like so. Taking my black liner, and I'm going underneath. This is Graph Black. Move the, this up the camera so you guys can see. Taking a flat brush, and we're just going to smudge this a little. Essentially creating a very light, smoky eye, in a sense, against this gorgeous skin child. Super easy, 
NW60 on the eyes, a little bit of black eyeliner, but we're gonna make it pop. Rayon Ray's Dazzle Shadow Liquid in the center. So we're gonna move it around and pull it up. A little Mac stack, my baby Mac stack. This is my travel Mac stack. I couldn't find my my um, full size one child, but my baby Mac stack. Cyber roll on the lips. And fill in the corners for that 90s vibe and feel, because what 90s makeup is here. You know, in fact, I think I might do some 90s makeup inspired makeup tutorials. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that too. This is some girl, this is brand new too. Who's this girl? Uh, Sugar Rim, oh, she's a classic. Dazzle Glass by Mac, right in the center. And voila, we're done. But before we close this out, y'all know we gotta lock in all our good old hard work with a little Mac Fix Plus stay over. We need to be outside. We need to make sure this is gonna stay into place. And <laughs> y'all can't, I, I, I look good. <laughs> this is pretty, <laughs> ow. All right, I gots to go. You know what to do. Like this video, leave me a comment. But most importantly, turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar. But seriously, let me know what y'all think about this look. Let me know if y'all are gonna try this look on yourself. And also if y'all want me to drop a 90s makeup tutorial, okay? Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you next time, guys. I love you. I do. I do. I do. I do. Mwah. Bye. Bye.